Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to do another stream quality comparison. Um, I was playing Final Fantasy VII Remake and I streamed it the other day and I was curious, is it worth rolling with a 30 FPS stream instead of a 60 FPS stream since the PS4 is locked to 30 FPS and technically 30 FPS is less stuff to encode than 60. So I wanted to go ahead and uh, do a video. I, I, you know, I asked some people uh, on, on Twitter, uh, Epos Vox and uh, Ernst, Came, in, uh, came back as well as Odigo, so with a whole bunch of math, a whole bunch of reasoning behind it. Um, definitely check out their channels as well. Um, and But I wanted to get some visuals to it, so that's what I've done here today. We're going to be taking a look at the Final Fantasy uh, 14 benchmark. Uh, I believe it's Shadowbringers is the latest expansion. And I like using these benchmarks because typically they have a lot of quick camera pans, as well as a lot of VFX and changing colors on the screen, which mean it means it's really, really hard on the encoder. Uh, so it puts it in a really good spot to kind of to benchmark it and, and test it out. So um, the footage itself uh, is done at 30 FPS uh, across the board. And then again, I have this segment in here and it's all labeled for the ones that are uh, that were streamed in 60 FPS. To capture the footage, I went ahead and streamed to Twitch on an alternate Twitch account. Uh, and then I saved and downloaded the highlights and then brought those in to resolve uh, to edit them. And then everything at the end of the day. Uh, was uh, encoded with uh, just a crap ton of bitrate, uh, like in the resolve and whatnot. On the Twitch side of things, uh, I used the new NVEC encoder, a bitrate of 8,000, uh, max quality, um, high profile, B frames of two. I think everything else is pretty much all the standard stuff that you're supposed to use. Uh, so should be pretty good. Um, and again, the stream was either at 1080p 60 or 1080p. 30, and we're here today to see if running at 30 frames versus 60 frames on 30 frame content makes a difference. That was a lot. Let's check it out.
All right, guys, so for this part of the video, I've got the source screenshots in case you guys wanted to pause and check it out. So we've got the 30 FPS source quality footage. After that, I'm gonna have a screenshot of the 30 FPS um, source footage, but this is over a 30 FPS stream. One thing I wanna point out here is pay attention to the textures on the animals in the background. And then we have the 30 FPS game with a 60 FPS stream. So you can kind of see where the quality goes from there. Again, the 60 FPS on this one does seem to degrade a little bit more than it did on the 30 FPS. All right, guys. So this is going to be the, uh, the source screenshot. We're going to do one quick transition. And now this is the source screenshot as well as the 30 FPS stream. And with one more transition, we're going to have uh, the... Um, from left to right, 60 FPS stream, 30 FPS stream, and then source. Now, the two on the left are the ones you really kind of want to pay attention to to see the differences in. Um, it's really, really tough. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I sat here and looked at it for a while. Uh, you get a little bit more fidelity in some of the shadows at times, but in general, in a scene like this where there's so much going on, uh, the encoder is just stressed. And uh, even though we cut the number of frames that we needed to encode in half, uh, in general, it's just it's just not um, not a super super big difference. Now again, uh, this is done through uh, the Final Fantasy benchmark. These scenes are absolute hell on the encoder. In terms of how I captured um, these um, screens, I essentially took the Twitch clips, uh, loaded them into Photoshop, uh, unpacked them via frames to layers, and then found the frames that matched inside of um inside of photoshop and so that's how i got them lined up side to side to make sure they were uh, within one or two frames of each other um, from the original clips to make sure that we had the same we were working with the same footage when i did the comparisons so hopefully you guys found this helpful all right so there you guys have it so that was the uh, the comparison between uh 30 uh, 30 and 60 fps uh on your stream if you're running 30 fps content now my general takeaway was that uh Honestly, in most scenarios, I'm not picking up enough of a difference between uh, 30 and 60. Um, now, you know, it may take make it easier on your encoder. There could be other benefits that were, you know, that, that I'm not really mentioning right now. I'm just kind of mentioning more of the quality. Uh, where I did see the 30 FPS kind of step ahead, uh, personally, again, a lot of this is, you know, subjective, uh, is in a lot of those scenes, the finer details uh, when it came to things like textures on fabric and whatnot. Um, and uh, maybe it was uh, some of the, the bigger creatures, the textures on their skin, their scales and stuff uh, came through a little bit better on the 30 FPS stream uh, than the 60 FPS stream. Uh, but when it really seemed to get crazy and there's just a bunch of action on the on the screen, um, I felt like they were really, really close. Not, nothing that, you know, anyone's going to notice too much uh, during a, uh, a real time uh, real time stream. But again, there were some benefits here and there on the 30 um, in terms of the finer quality uh, of, uh, you know, the finer uh, textures, again, like cloth and things like that. So take it for what you will. I Hopefully you guys found this uh, somewhat helpful. I enjoyed making it at the very least. And uh, as always, dudes, feel free to like, subscribe. Uh, you can catch me live on Twitch uh, quite a few nights a week at twitch.tv slash Cardo. Until next time, as always, be excellent and stay humble. Peace out.